Hey guys, it's Phoebe here from Little Grey Box with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you travel well. And in today's episode, we are going to be uncovering some of our favorite New Zealand adventure activities. And I am really interested to know which ones you would and wouldn't try. So make sure you let me know in the comments below. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss an episode. Let's dive right in. Of all the adventure activities I have ever done in my life, skydiving is by far my favorite. And in New Zealand's South Island, we got the chance to do a skydive in Wanaka with the guys at Skydive Wanaka. Now, I cannot recommend this experience highly enough. The team at Skydive Wanaka are so professional and they also make it really fun. So every step of the way, we felt confident, we felt safe, and we were just having the best time. Now, Wanaka is the perfect place to do a skydive because the scenery there is spectacular. On the flight up, we could see the Southern Alps. It was a clear day. We could see all over Wanaka and all the way out to Queenstown. And then you jump out and you are free falling with your tandem beautiful stranger strapped to your back. It is the ultimate rush, you guys, so I highly recommend it. And personally, my favorite moment is when they open that plane door and you are kind of half hanging out the side of this plane, looking at the earth below, thinking, am I really about to jump out of this thing? And then you just go full point break and do it. As a bit of a thrill seeker, doing a bungee jump was also high up on my life bucket list. And Matt and I made the decision to do ours in New Zealand at the Kawarau Bridge Bungee Jump with AJ Hackett in Queenstown. I have to be honest, I found doing a bungee jump way more scary than doing a skydive. You know, you're standing there on the edge of this ledge just looking down and you have to kind of summon the courage to just jump off. And Matt did it like a total baddie. He did a full chest out swan dive. I kind of rolled off like a worm falling off a rock. It was not very cool, but I did it and I am so glad I did. If you do decide to do it, I have one piece of advice for you. Whatever you do, don't look down. If doing a skydive or a bungee jump sounds way too extreme for you, you might want to think about doing a catapult or a swing instead. Now, Matt and I decided to do the Nevis catapult with the guys at AJ Hackett in Queenstown, and we had the best time, you guys. You kind of are suspended up above the Nevis Valley, and then they just let go and they propel you a distance of 150 meters up to three Gs of force. You are hitting speeds of 100 kilometers an hour at 1.5 seconds. You don't have to jump. There's nothing scary like that. You just kind of dangle for a while and then you get flipped across the valley. But that's really, really fun. And now I will say that after having done a skydive and a bungee jump, I didn't find the catapult got my blood pumping and my adrenaline up quite as much. But if you are just starting out and you are looking for a little adrenaline thrill to get started with, a catapult or a swing is perfect. New Zealand is the perfect place for a snow holiday and Matt and I love to hire a car or an RV and do a bit of a driving ski field tour where we drop in for a spot of snowboarding and skiing at some of the South Island's best spots. Now some of our favorite spots to visit around Queenstown are the Remarkables and we love to hit up Coronade Peaks Twilight Sessions. They have great live music there, fire pits, cold beers, wood-fired pizzas. It's just awesome. Now outside of Queenstown, we're also really big fans of Treble Cone, Cardrona and Mount Hutt, which is a convenient one hour, 15 minute drive from Christchurch. You'll find the Franz Joseph Glacier located near the Alraki Mount Cook National Park on the west coast of New Zealand's South Island. And it's here that you can actually go heli hiking on the Franz Joseph Glacier. Now, this was an unexpectedly amazing experience for me. The glacier itself is just stunning. And the guides that take you up there have so much local knowledge. You get to hear the folklore and the legends behind it. And the helicopter pilots actually land the helicopter on the glacier. And then you go through the glacier and you're kind of navigating these huge icy hallways towering over side of you. It was just such a special experience. And if you get to do it, I highly recommend. 
One of the things I love most about visiting New Zealand is how beautiful it is. And there are some really stunning waterways too. So don't just focus on those mountains and those ski fields. Make sure you're experiencing everything it has to offer. Now, one great way to do that is to do a bit of a jet boat ride. And Matt and I decided to do ours with the guys at the Shot Over Jet in Queenstown. And it was so much fun. I will say it was freezing when we woke up to do it, but being that cold was absolutely worth it. We were laughing, screaming, yipping, yahooing as we were getting ripped around in that boat. It was just so much fun and a really great way to see the area from a different perspective. Now, I'm gonna be really honest, I do not like hiking at all, and even I enjoy exploring New Zealand's walking trails. Now, my favorite spot has to be the Fjordlands and Milford Sound, which is located about a four hour drive from Queenstown. Now, Matt Laker and I headed out there in our RV. We spent the night at a local campground, and it gave us the opportunity to explore some of the great network of trails out there, including a little wander around the Mirror Lakes and a few other gorgeous spots. It's a destination I highly recommend visiting and taking advantage of those hiking trails is going to allow you to enjoy it even more. For fun and adventure in the water, you might like to try your hand at blackwater rafting or river tubing. Now, I did get the chance to go river tubing in Charleston with the guys at Underworld Adventures, and it was so much fun. We had to carry our tubes through all of these different caves, and the guy was so great at telling us the local history. Then we got to laugh and giggle our way down the rapids, and by the end of it, we just had big smiles on our faces. We had the best time. Now, we did a scene flight in a helicopter with the guys at Aspiring Helicopters in Wanaka and even to this day it is still one of my favorite memories. As part of the experience we got to land on a glacier. Everything was pristine and beautiful and it made me feel so alive and even now I still think back on that memory. If a helicopter flight isn't quite your speed you might like to consider doing a scenic flight in a 1940s tiger moth with the guys at Classic Flights. Matt and I got to do loop-de-loops in the plane. Uh, Matt didn't know we were gonna do a loop-de-loop. -loop. He was watching me. We kind of went up and surprised him. I think he thought something was wrong. It was so much fun. And best of all, you guys, you get to wear some really cool vintage clothing. It's just a scene straight out of Top Gun. Climb inside a giant clear hamster ball, throw in some water and get pushed down a hill for a whole lot of fun in Rotorua. Now you guys, Ogo or Zorbing as it's known in New Zealand is a really fun activity. It is perfect for those warm summer days. Personally, I would rather jump out of a plane or do a bungee jump, but I think this kind of experience is perfect for anybody that has younger kids and they just kind of want to have a little bit of fun for themselves on their holiday. I didn't take part in the Ogo or Zorbing myself, but I got to watch some of my friends do it. And the footage afterwards from inside with their GoPros had us all cracking up. It looks like so much fun. I would love to know, have you ever thought about visiting New Zealand? Is it something on your wish list? Or have you had the chance to visit before and you have some great recommendations on other amazing adventure activities too? If you do, be sure to share those in the comments for other people and so I can check them out as well. And make sure you let me know which of those activities I mentioned you would or wouldn't try. I'm dying to know who's game for a skydive. Now you guys, if you are planning a trip to New Zealand, we have some fantastic free guides for you over on the website. And of course, you might like to watch our New Zealand motorhome road trip series right here on YouTube. Those are all linked below for you. Now, if you loved this video and you found it useful, be sure to book your next adventure anywhere in the world using our affiliate links. We will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. All right, you guys, and with that, that brings this video to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. Have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya.